How's it? What it do, everybody? It's your boy Nocturne. We're back at it with Subnautica. Now, it is 12.30 in the morning. I don't feel tired. Nothing sounded good except for playing more Subnautica. And I'd already played quite a bit in my free time to get materials like to build this and to build another things. And I kept running into certain story-related elements. Now, thankfully, nothing major has happened that you guys have missed. Just like some dialogue. Like the lady in like the Titanfall prawn suit looking thing. I apparently went to too deep, or not like too deep, but deep enough to where she started talking to me. She didn't say anything really noteworthy, just like, oh, I thought I told you to stay away from my land kind of stuff. Uh, Alan also talked to me about looking into more artifacts, and that's roughly about it for like the story stuff, but I've mainly just been gathering a whole bunch of materials, creating things. Uh, modification table. I have one. I have a heat knife now. I have a lot of new stuff in here. Like, look, it's an aroma thingy. There's also... These cool guys, they're so cute. I love them. I want to get more of them, but they're uh, they're kind of in a very a deep, uh, deeper part of the ocean. And also, where I found the um, the giant leviathan thing, that's basically like the reaper leviathans of this game. Uh, I kind of want to make a base over there because I also found. Hang on, let me see if I can find it. I found there was this big, and I mean it was big. Would it be research, indigenous life fauna? This thing was big. Yeah, okay, so we saw this one. There was one of these. These things are huge. I swam up into this thing. It also scared the shit out of me because the big leviathan thing tried to eat me while I was inside, but it couldn't get to me. This thing is huge. It has like six tentacles and yeah, it's, it's just ginormous. Another thing is I'm going to try and keep it light with the logbook reading because I noticed last episode after I got done recording... I was just doing a lot of sitting there and just listening, which if you guys like that, that's fine. But I'm just going to try and lighten it up on this video because depending on how tired I get, I try not to um, stay up too late because I tend to go to sleep around 2 in the morning actually and it, like I said, is 12.30. Kind of just depends on how tired I get. I do have two um, things that create water now, so I can bring... Well, I should probably get rid of the disinfected water first. Yeah, we'll bring these with us. I don't expect us to be out for, like, a long time. I can technically just drink one now. Yeah. But, um... I'm gonna try and make this short. Well, not, like, short, but just... Not waste as much time as possible. We're gonna try and just get as much done in this episode. Like, just go and investigate all the points. This thing is almost... Okay, I do have... Me. I also made a re the reinforced dive suit, uh, the swim charge fins, and I think that's it. I found a blueprint for a better tank, but I didn't find all of it. I did make a, a another depth thing, so like one of these, but it was like Mark II, so this thing can go a lot deeper. Now. Oh yeah, this thing. I want to find the last of this at some point, but yeah, right now we have this, and then once we can find some kyanite i don't know how you pronounce that i'm a little i'm a little tired already i also have a thermal plant once i get more stuff like as far as like buildings like obviously there has to be a moon pool in this game once i get something like a moon pool you know just something like that then um i will definitely want to start building try to build around the tree vents area because man that area is so pretty very dangerous too but just my lord i would love to see if i could make a base there but that's gonna have to wait some other time we're just gonna see if we can knock off some of these all right well actually here i'll go to this one but we could also try and go to like the other bases because we've been to a mega base we've been to delta island so i think there's still like three other places we can go see that's like three oh wait is this gonna take me Mm, you guys might see exactly what I was just talking about, but wait, this goes, this is the island, right? Okay, so how... Uh... Because <laughs> that other biome is kind of... Bridge crevices detected below. Geothermal activity detected. Caution advised. Ah, okay. Well, I can't fit in there. 
I mean, I can, but the sea truck can't. So let us see. There has to be another opening somewhere, you would think. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. No. Oh, hello. You're not telling. I mean, I don't think I. Because, yeah, I can see a hole there. I guess this is not a good idea. <gasps> it's more the okay. Well, that's the cute fish I was talking about, but this is a big area, and I thought I saw a bigger fish in here, so I'm kind of afraid. Ah, uh, this area is huge. Oh, it's like a human base. I thought I saw a bigger fish in here. I swear, I thought I, I thought I did. Hello? Okay, doesn't... Or did it swim down there? Oh my god. Well, I'm gonna jump out and repair. <laughs> totally not terrified or anything. No, 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 no. Oh, wait. I remember you guys from the first one. Can I scan you? Can I pick you up? Rock grub. Okay, I don't think you guys are the exact same for the first one. <gasps> I can't pick... Okay, so it looks like I can, I can go in there. Okay, which way is the artifact? That's not the one I'm looking for. Is it deeper down? It is. So... I obviously can't go that way. Oh, there's actually stuff over here. And what are you? A uh, moon pool? What was I just saying? All right, we got the moon pool. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I guess before we go deeper, that's a ruby. Uh, I actually get that some of those on my. Sorry, little guys. I love you. Um, I can't fit in here, can I? Ah, ah. Maybe this was the entrance I was supposed to come from, but I just found my own way. Yeah, this definitely looks like the entrance I was supposed to come from. <laughs> Oops. Uh, sorry about that. Is there actually anything out here? That's a builder fragment, in case I came here before the other place. Doesn't... There might be other things out here, but I'm just gonna keep exploring the base. I at least know where the actual exit's supposed to be, but I still can't fit through it with my big ol' sea truck. So I guess the only other way is down. Ow. What is this place anyway? You guys made this deep. Like, really deep. So this is like, um, I'm assuming it's a mining facility, considering they got like titanium and stuff here. Ooh, that looks like a blueprint, but I might already have it. Thermal plant, yeah, I already have the thermal plant. Okay. That's more thermal plant stuff. I want to get more of these guys too. Come here. <laughs> First aid. It's not a good. I can get the prawn suit. Ayo. Okay. So I can actually make a prawn suit now. Uh, I don't know if I have the drill arm. Okay, I do. Um, there's a PDA over here. Aurora wreckage located. Survivors confirmed. Uh, Sunbeam, which wait, okay, hang on, hang on. We're gonna read that, because that's actually important.
once I get the safety here. So, Altaria's released voice recordings which confirm survivors of the Aurora crash. The transmission came from trade ship Sunbeam, which got totally decimated, by the way, in the first game, uh, which was passing nearby when it detected their SRS. Hey, Altera, we've got one of your birds in the soup over here. Looks like they took blank survivors. We're moving in for a closer look. While the number of survivors is not yet known, nor the true state of the ship, it is now known that she has landed with her hull largely intact on planet 4546b. Smaller than Earth and largely waterbound, it is thought the planet has a breathable atmosphere and hopes have been raised all around. The Sunbeam is registered as a 5 seat cargo vessel insufficient to evacuate the crew or cargo of the Aurora, but perhaps enough to assess the situation and reassure shareholders at home that their investment, their investment really, there is at least a one month delay on transmissions from that region of space. In the meantime, Altera is working on every possible solution, including an innovation idea to transmit the blueprints for a purpose built rocket, which could be constructed using material salvaged from the Aurora and the planet itself. If the crew could begin their long journey home, now the rescue teams could meet them halfway, shaving months off their return. Altera's share prices rose to their quarterly high on the... Altera, Altera, Altera. Greedy, 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 greedy. I mean, it's great that they were willing to at least try and meet them halfway, but like... Come on. Come on. Like... Oh, it's sealed. Uh, where is my laser cut door? There we go. Hey, there we go. Actually, what, what do I need the habitat builder out for right now? Uh, we'll put you to five repair back to there. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a thing over here too. Scanner room. I already have that. Two titanium. Oh, come on. <laughs> Only two titanium. Okay, I guess we're gonna continue down. More prawn suit stuff. A lot of prawn suit stuff. Another PDA copper wire. Oh, hey, Parvin. Can I get you to sign off here? What is all this? I don't know. Some kind of measuring equipment? Lil said she'd send someone over to set it up later. Ah, alien science nonsense. I wouldn't say that. You should ask her to show you some of her findings. Pretty interesting stuff. There might really be someone down there. You ask me. Scientists have too much control over here. What? I'm serious. Look around you. This mining facility extracts every mineral your scientists use to make their equipment. Their bases, their scanners, even your little sea trucks. I wouldn't call them little. Do you know the name of a single person who works down here? Well, I know you, Parvin. Ah, tell Lillian <laughs> she's wasting her time. There's nothing down here but workers, and we already know we don't spark her curiosity. I don't think I can fit in here, but we're gonna go. And give me you. What you found is more than just an artifact. It will help me follow the traces my people left on this planet. I'm glad it could help. I know you would still prefer me to have a corporeal form of my own. Well, yes. If you continue searching, I may regain some of my connection to the network, piece by piece. The statue of unknown origin assembled with precision out of a block of pure copper ore appears to represent a creature of some sort resembles the centaurs of ancient Greek mythology. Several theories have been post- uh, yeah, the statue could serve as a cultural marker, uh, okay, possible religious artifact, artistic expression. Well, okay then. I mean, I'm glad I found this for you, random creature egg I don't think I've ever seen before. Maybe it turns into the feather fish. Ooh, that'd be cool. But, I mean, we can already find those fairly easily. Okay, so we got that one. Oh. How do your people communicate if you are not networked? What do you mean? We just talk to each other. Do you not find that primitive? We exist as data. We are all aware of each other's thoughts and needs. Scientific in 
endeavors are accomplished much more smoothly this way. There's more to life than research, Alex. I can't lie. Work would go faster if I could read my colleagues' minds, but thoughts are private, and people have their own inner lives. People change and need space to think. Space helps you think. I find that being separated from my network is very quiet. W what do you mean by quiet? Imagine a thousand strings, each playing its own range of notes, none louder than the others. Each one builds harmony, a continuous thrum in the background of existence. I am now a lone string in search of familiar harmonies. I'll help you find them. Okay, sorry, I got distracted by that, but I also didn't pick this up because I wanted to just... Oh. Oh. Uh... Hang on. This might actually be... An unusual ion signature on the edge of Altera's space has science that's baffled, and some have drawn a connection with a similar echo detected around the time of the Aurora's reported crash. This is when the, the super weapon uh, shot, uh, I'm assuming, Refusal to release its full data on the Aurora accident. It has now been months since the Sunbeam went quiet with no new information. The salvage team can teams continue their long journey to 4546. Also, I like the fact that you can just take the rocks they pull out and then just break them. It's so funny. Like, it's cool. Don't we game me wrong. But I just think it's funny. Is there anything actually here? I think this is... I think this is it for the mining facility. Yeah. Okay. So, well, if we ever need a lot of materials, whenever we get the prawn suit, duh. Oh, sorry. There's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> like, a lot. So, um... Oh, I'm almost out of, uh... Sea truck power. So where should we go next? So this was, I mean, we killed two birds with one stone. I didn't realize we were gonna find a um, one of the human outposts or like the mining facility when we were looking for the artifact. I'm glad we did. It just makes me wonder, like, what the hell happened? I guess because this whole thing was like all set up and everything and it's just what what happened why is there no one really here why are people sabotaging other bases why <laughs> like something weird is going on with Altera I mean obviously right oh yeah I can't go out that way that's right which way did I come in from ah Ah, yes, back through the hell vents. Eesh. Woo! Here we go! Oh. Ooh, it's getting hot! Alright. We made it out. Kind of disoriented. I mean, thankfully, I know where to go. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know if I want to go... How much inventory I got? Alright, I'm gonna go drop this stuff off because, I mean, I'm only 350 meters away from home, and then I would say we go for that one? You guys are so loud! God! <laughs> Startled me. Um, I would say we go for that one, but I, I do want to kind of see what the pilot thing is all about because I did kind of go pretty deep over there so I kind of want to finish that off and then I mean the artifact is a lot closer to us or like home than it is um, the lady so I feel like we can do that anytime and also I'm seeing an abundance of quartz but but yeah it is it's almost one in the morning now I actually finished recording the genocide route for Undertale today, which should be coming out in the next day, two days. I don't know when I'm gonna have this actually come out, to be honest. Like, I have a whole bunch of videos already, like, queued and ready to go. 
and um, like I think it's the next five days are basically taken care of um, as far as like videos daily go but yeah that should be out either the day after this goes up or two days after this goes up Welcome aboard, Captain. no claim deck oh the jam is playing <laughs> cod I still find it so funny that that's just a thing all right little fishies you're gonna have a new friend hopefully he doesn't eat you have fun <laughs> Did it oh there it is okay cool i mean i think they'll be fine they'll be fine oh yeah the rock grubs uh inedible i can't put them in the tank so are they can i only put them in the in the big one oh wait i can probably put this back then wait Oh yeah, I did grab that. Uh, I guess I'll put that in here. All right, go little guys. You're so tiny. Okay, so I have a moon pool actually. I should learn how to, not learn, but figure out. Oh bro, that's so easy. That's, wait, how much lead? Two? No. Am I out of lead? I think I'm out of lead. Okay. Well, I'm honestly not going to worry about a moon pool right now. Because I kind of don't need it. It'd be nice to recharge the sea truck and all. But uh, as of right now, I don't necessarily need it. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and set on back out our way. We're gonna go to the lady now. Oh yeah, I recolored my base. Kinda looks kinda looks cool. I kinda dig it. It has like some purple, red, black, yeah. But yeah, so we have the what other So it um Omega Base. There was like this really big room. Like it was a long room. I wonder if we're gonna get like a blueprint for that at some point. But I kinda wanna get all of the possible base parts before I build another base because that's just kind of like what I like to do in Subnautica I just like building bases because I think it's cool and it's fun just to see what what you can do and where you can put like certain things especially where I want to build a base it's gonna be really dangerous number one I'm probably gonna have a really frustrated time making because I'm probably gonna die a lot because there's two of the big boys that are over there but I just think the view would be so cool it'd be so worth it but I definitely need a moon pool Oh, and my sea truck died. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh. God, they're so loud. Like, I know it's them, but every time I hear something loud, I'm just like, big leviathan thing. Like, you know, just, <laughs> I just go into like do or die mode. Okay, sorry, just making sure. I actually do need some food. I'm sorry, Mr. Featherfish, you've been... Where'd he go? There's a feather fish, like, just... I mean, I'll take the quartz. Oh, oh, okay. Here's some. I just lost sight of it. Yeah! Sorry. You've been elected. Alright. That's okay for now. We'll find more on our way. Alright, alright. There's like so many of these guys over here. Like it's just, it's kind of crazy how many there are. Like I know they're just basically kind of like the equivalent of bone sharks, but I'm still just like, there's so many. And we're just gonna try and go as straight down as possible. It goes really deep. Cause I only went a certain distance because there were some materials down here. Like I kind of looked up the biomes cause I was like, okay, where do I get this kind of things? I wanted to build certain things. Try not to spoil myself too much obviously like I don't know what creatures spawn where by any means it was mainly just like I want to get this how do I get it and etc <laughs> and so I got the stuff I need I got out and it was like okay I don't want to go back down there right now ah here we go 
All right. So I think I've, yeah, I've been down this one, but I have not been, like this bottom room here, I haven't been out of this bottom, like I haven't explored this room completely because I just did not have enough oxygen. I see a spinner fish, you are mine. You are mine, come here, come here. Don't try to run from your fate. Okay, <laughs> actually I should take I'm taking those so I can plant them back home because I don't think I took enough, but what is that? I don't remember seeing those when I was down here. Then again, I didn't really have a whole lot of time to look around. Well, that thing is moving. That's an interesting... Why is it... It's just like random tentacles just like jutting out of the water. I'm assuming it's like a plant or something. These things are big. Like, what are they? Oh, there's more spinnerfish here. Oh, there's another tentacle thing. This just area just has them, I guess. So what are you? Grand Cotton Anemone. I guess I should have known. So what? Okay, I'm starting to think this plant... There's more to this plant than meets the... Oh! Jeez. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, God! Get off me! You son of a bitch! How the fuck am I supposed to scan you if you're just gonna... Okay, so that's... Fuck you! Oh my god! At least you can't take my sea truck. So, okay. If I see dancing tentacles, that means they want to hentai me. Check. Alright. <laughs> I need to find out how to get a stasis rifle, because some of these things... I don't know if that's, that would, like, instant kill me. Like, I don't know how many things in this game will instant kill me. But, like... I ain't taking my, I ain't taking my chances. Oh yeah, and this is the area that the lady might talk to me, so... Oh, this is a skeletal fish. I scanned that before. Just trying to make sure I don't really miss anything. This place is so pretty. Aside from the freaking hentai tentacle tongue plants. Okay, we're going like really deep. I mean, thankfully it's not dark thanks to these plants. We're almost to our crush depth. Hello? Okay, it's just a squid shark. It's all good. Okay, what's this way? I don't like how claustrophobic this got. What are you? Hello. Please don't run away. Oh, they're creature. They're creature eggs. I'm only gonna take one. I thought they were actually like. Oh, what are those? What are those creatures called? They're like. Ah. You see, you see like fossils of them all the time. I, I just I can't think of what they're called. Okay. I found a very strange creature egg. It might honestly be the squid. It's a it's a squid shark egg. What, egg, what am I talking about? It's definitely a squid shark egg. Oh, uh, did I come from this room? I don't know. Maybe I did. I have no idea. Um, no, I think I came from over there. So let's go over here. So I'm, I'm close to something. Ooh. Ooh, okay. What's in here? Oh, that's trippy. Okay. This place looks... Oh, this is so pretty. This is so cool. This wasn't even on the map. Oh, these are plants you could... Man, these are plants you could take in the first game. Why can't I take them here? Ancient ornamental plant. Can I... 
Okay, I'll, I'll read that in my spare time. I'm kind of just... I can't get a seed of it, really. Ah, that's so sad. I just... I want it, please. Well... Oh. Architect skeleton. Are you okay, Malik? Is this place another sort of sanctuary? It's peaceful. Beautiful. As the bacteria spread, the continuation of life became uncertain. This is a place to reflect. I think I understand. Yeah, this place is gorgeous. Like, honestly, like this, this whole like thing right here, this is just awesome. I love this. Yeah, this is really cool. Okay, so we found one of the, one of the three. Yeah, we found one of the three architect components. So that's, that's good. That's good progress. Although, that's not necessarily why I came here. I thought the pilot would be here. But it seems she's not here. So, I'm wondering if there's a different way I go down here. Hey. Hey, stop. Okay, that this went to the weird eggs. Can you leave me alone? Thank you. Please and thank you. I haven't... Okay, I haven't gone... Uh, this isn't the way I came from, I don't think. Yeah, this is not the way I came from. These things are, like, kind of creepy, but cool at the same time. <laughs> the way they just pulsate and bleh. I kind of wonder. No, I was like, can you go in them? I'm like, I'm not I'm not about to test that. I am going to save, though, <laughs> before I forget. Um, I'm just not sure if there's anything else in here. Because there honestly might be with how big this place is. Or maybe it doesn't? What is that? Is that a creature egg? Interesting. Okay. Found another creature egg. What is that? Hello. Oh, that's just a plant. Okay, it looked really weird from my point of view. Like, it looked like something latched onto the wall. Okay, I really hate to do this to you, uh, buddy old pal. But, I need some- I need some food! Come here! Come here! Ah, you can't just roll away forever! Ah! I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So... Found a random egg. There doesn't really seem to be anything else in this section. Uh, see, the more the more I'm here, the more I'm just like, it's like someone's popping a pimple underwater. Is like the only thing I could think of through the, for these things. I just get more disgusted. But they're also just pretty. But I'm also just like, ugh. I'm also like, hmm. But ugh. so I'm back in the same room. So I'm just going to assume there's nothing else down here, cause. Because, yeah. <laughs> so, I'll be back. Going up to the surface. Alright. So, we're almost out. There is one last idea I have. Because I remember that there was a cave system I found that was near, like, the, um, uh, the purple vent area. I don't know if that biome is just called purple vents or whatever. But there was, like, an area there that I stumbled into trying to get to, like, that area. So I'm gonna go look there too. So I think it's more so this way. 
So we're just gonna trick along until we find a, an opening, I guess. <laughs> truck along, <laughs> cause sea truck. <laughs> I'm terrible. Okay. I was not expecting to find a ship piece here. Geothermal activity detected below. Beware of high pressure and temperatures. Is that a glacier? That is a glacier, okay. Okay, I'm just making sure because I don't like being able to not see her out. Not see around me and stuff. I don't. Yeah, okay, it's just you. Oh, that's a Titan Holefish. God, I'm tripping out. Okay. Is there an entrance to this thing? Probably underneath, if I had to guess. I guess would be wrong. Maybe there's not an entrance. Maybe it's just random debris. But okay, this is not the same area of a cave that I found when I was playing in my free time, but maybe it still goes through the same thing? Here's something. What's this? Oh, I think I already have this. Never mind, I don't. I don't know which sea truck modules I have. I think I have the aquarium and one of the other things. There's a sea monkey nest down here. Oh, we're near another architect thing. Well, this sea monkey nest doesn't have any anything. It's kind of sad. But wait, it's right next to a crash site. How does it not have anything? See, okay, like this is starting to look familiar. Just kind of like the scenery is. Oh. Oh, okay, all right. It's both reassuring and unsettling to rediscover this site after being in storage for so long. My connection to the network grows stronger, however slightly. I hope you will continue to search for more of these. I mean, sure, Al. I mean, I don't want you in my head, and I don't think you want to stay in my head forever, either. So, what is this? New technology oh. acquired. New technology. Wait. Wait, no, I want to see the new technology. Vehicle upgrade console. I don't know if that's the technology I got, but okay. There's the headlamp from earlier. Okay, I just don't know, but that's fine. <laughs> I'm also gonna need more food soon. Okay, well, I'm glad I found that. But is that all that was down here? So let's see if we keep going this way. I should probably stop and find some fish to eat here real quick. That's a big vent. Uh, okay, there it goes. I was like, are you gonna burst? Are you waiting for me to get closer? Like, what, what's going on? <laughs> That's a big one. Oh, there's a big boy. Oh! Oh! Okay. At least I have a wall to my back. That makes me feel better. Hi, fish. This looks pretty. There's rock punchers. I don't see or hear anything. The seeing part doesn't calm me. The hearing kind of does. I'm gonna get out because I need food. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that you are on the chopping block. Ugh. No, come here. This area is really pretty though. I'm just like, it's so open. 
So I'm like, I'm spooked and I can't really appreciate it all. Large crystal formation. All right, we'll, we'll reach you here in a bit. I was not expecting to find anything like this. Ow, ow, hey, 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 come on. Okay, you know what, you know what, j j just, just, just in case. Not because I'm scared or anything. Not, not because, you know, nothing, nothing, all right? Just forget it, forget it, shut up, shut up, all right? <laughs> I don't see anything, so maybe this is a safe area? Oh, it just goes deeper, okay. How are we doing on power? Fine. Oh my god. Proceed with caution. An arrival class creature is near. How near are we talking? What is that? Oh, that thing is big! What is that? Oh, fuck. Oh my god, you're so big! No! Oh my god, let go of me, let go of me, let go of me, let go of me, let go of me. Oh, jeezums. What the fuck? Okay, what the fuck was that? Okay, at least this area is safe from my knowledge, right? This is cool. How lovely. How cute. How wonderful. Okay, I'm wide awake now. Jade membrane. All right, cool. Thanks. Can I can I collect you? Can I can I do anything? What the fuck was that? That thing was huge. That was like almost as big as a sea dragon. And it has like an open thing. That is not what I was expecting. I got, there's a Leviathan class. Okay, how close is it? Oh, it's that close. Okay. Oh my fucking god. I'm just gonna... Hi, ah, yes, I know you're about to burst, but I just... I'm assuming that thing... What, what hit me? Is it too hot? Uh, I don't know. I'm assuming that is essentially the sea dragon of the game. Maybe. I don't know. That thing was big. I'm assuming you can eat me in one bite. I'm not going to try and scan that <laughs> right now. That thing was huge. Oh my lord. Hey, look, a docking module. Hip hip hooray. Yay. Okay. I need to calm down after that. Good lord. Like, it looked really cool. Like, that was really cool, but it was just like... That was big. <laughs> and scary. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. I'm assuming... Like, I'm, I'm not gonna go back there without... Um, like, I'm pretty sure the prawn suit is more... What, what's... What's the word? Um, it's more hardy. You know, it can, it can deal with those kind of threats a lot easier without dying on me. Oh, I don't really know which way I need to go. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, this just looks like a sea truck part, but... Oh, horsepower. Guess I already had that. <laughs> Damn, I really want to find the high-capacity tank. But that might just not be in the cards. How did I end up here? Well, let's see, I've been recording for... Shut up! We've been recording for almost an hour now. And it's been, for the most part... <laughs> for the most part, there's been quite a bit happening. But I still think we should hit... Just so Mr. Dick over there doesn't interrupt us. Still think we have enough time to find another location. Oh, we found this, didn't we? This is the the mining facility. 
So we can go to one of these. I guess. I mean, I just, I don't... Alright, I'm, I'm gonna do a bit more exploring just to make sure there's nothing else down here. But... I'm pretty sure there is, so I'll be right back. Wait, I just... I just remembered something. So when I was playing by myself, there was this... There's like this, hang on, I scanned it. Would it be... No, I think it'd be alien data. It said something about a hive mind. Like, I just have the faintest memory of scanning, it was like along the walls. I don't think it was fauna. It said, it said it was a hive mind. I'm not going crazy, right? I know I scanned it. I don't think it's a fish. I don't remember, but it was this weird looking thing. It was along the walls. And I remember I found it in the lily pad-ish area. And I didn't really fully explore it because it went too deep. So I know we're spending a lot of time doing this. And I know I wanted to go do like more of the objectives, but I feel like there's just more stuff to be found over here. Considering there's like two crashed ships like next to this lily pad area. Well, not two, it's the same ship, but you know, two big hunks of the same ship in the same area. And considering the pilot talked to me, but I haven't found her. I haven't found like her base or something. So it's just like, I haven't found anything like that that has satisfied my quench for searching for things over here. Because I feel like her stuff is over here or something along those lines is over here. Oh no, this is the this is the front end of the ship. Hey, fuck off. Oh, there's a vent garden. It's a juvenile. I don't dare go over there, because that's uh can't tell if that's the other biome or if this is like the edge of the world. Cause uh Oh. That's that over there is the adult I found earlier. That's where two of the big boys are. Well, I guess I have a new definition of a big boy, but... <sighs> this is starting to frustrate me, because I, I know what I saw in my free time. I'm not crazy, I just don't remember where it is. This is so frustrating that I can't find this place. Oh, okay. So this is another... That's where's the vent trees. I feel like there's some big boys out here that I... Oh, okay, yeah, there's one. Okay, I might just have to come back at some point. And, uh, like, if I can't find it, because this is too much of a goose chase right now. Alright, I guess we're gonna go try and... You know, we found quite a bit of artifacts. Let's try and get, um one of the one of the bases so according to the map if we go beyond the island I mean this is probably the closest one to where our actual base is so I could actually uh, actually yeah I need to get water and food actually another thing I just thought of is like there's this whole area beneath our base where I met the first, like, uh, tentacle shark, squid shark guy, and it could actually go deeper. We could also go down there as well, after the base. You know, we'll, we'll do that at the end of the episode. I think that'll be nice to explore that, but for now, oh yeah, food. Uh, <laughs> oh wait. wait, what am I talking about? I have food and water here. Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> Hopefully Mr. Rock Puncher's behaving. Considering this guy can punch at the speed of sound, I feel like he would punch out an entire hole in this aquarium. Like, just break it completely. So I'm pretty sure one of those is Squid Shark. I don't know what the hell this thing is going to turn into. Whoa. That thing is weird looking, but all, all right. Don't kill each other, guys. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna try, because I think where we are on the map, 
Actually, it'll be easier to determine that once we actually go up. So, there's no land masses that way. So I'm assuming this is... I mean, it, it's one of them. We're just gonna go over there. Now, how do we... Is there gonna be like a hole somewhere and I have to like swim through the whole thing? Oh. Well, this is a start. Okay, I feel somewhat safe. Okay, well. Okay, is that a baby or is that an egg? Wait. Hey, little guys. <gasps> That's an egg. Give me. I'll take the snow. Uh, uh, I don't know. Give it to me. Ye yeet. <laughs> I'm out. Taking your babies. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, why, why did I do that? Um... I suddenly don't feel safe anymore. Because there's a lot of these guys. I'm just gonna skeet skeet around, okay? I really want to scan them though. <laughs> I'm gonna save. If I die, F. I don't think I'll die, but something bad is bound to happen. An eye jelly. Okay, they're coming towards me. How dangerous. Oh. Uh, three distinct body sections. Okay, well, I don't like how he keeps coming closer to me. So, uh, gently drift with little locomotion, though they can track movement with their large singular eye. Uh, to track prey, when the tentacles are touched, they emit a shock through specialized cells called, within these cells are venomous harpoon-like structures. All right, yeah, that doesn't sound fun. Oh, I couldn't climb up on that. Can I not climb up here? There we go. Oh, I picked up snow. God. Well, this is all nice and dandy, but I thought I could actually get up from here. I really did not want to fall in there. Okay, so that's... I really don't want to fall in the water with the jellies. <laughs> Okay, this was honestly the longer way around for me, but this isn't even, it didn't even lead to anything. All right, well, it was worth a shot. Well, I can get over here actually now, see what these things are about. Maybe I can take them back home. Oh wait, there is a cave. Okay, progress. All right, hurry up, I'm freezing. All right, cannot take them. All right. Will the K provide warmth for my temperature gauge? It does, okay. So this has to go. I see that up there. Ah, okay, cool, cool, cool. My C truck is really, okay, that's probably where I need to let me go get the sea truck. <laughs> oh, some of you are big. Some of you are really big. Why are there so many of you? Okay, she's further this way. As long as I don't touch your tentacles, right? Do I blind you with light or does that just attract you?
What was the dock I saw? Was it over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save. God, those jellyfish are creepy. They're cool, but they're creepy. I don't like it. Uh. Zeta, I have kind of a funny question for you. Have you picked up any kind of unusual interference during any of your robotics work? You mean like Parvin looking over my shoulder and telling me I'm assembling my circuits wrong because it's not how his dad did it back in the day? <laughs> no. Like electrical interference in the audio or video. Any kind of flickering or clicking. Huh, can't say that I have. Why? Oh, so it doesn't extend as far as the bay. What doesn't? When Fred was bringing me for my eval, we detected something, almost like an SOS. Air Delta? How retro. What was causing it? I think architects are trying to communicate with us. You always think that. Look, it may be my job to always think that, but I'm very good at my job. Not that HR seems to care. I won't breathe a word of this to Emmanuel. Thanks. You're a good friend. I don't really know where I'm going, but there was like a bridge over there. Looks destroyed. Facility beacon detected nearby. You need hey. identifier. Fire robotics center. Cool, cool. We're just gonna run through here. Ooh, Ooh this is pretty ice stalactite. Why is it glowing though? Uh, by extremophilic bacteria. Antifreeze agent secreted by the bacteria, which keeps the... Okay. Whoa. Can I take you home? I'm gonna try. Oh. How much does that take? And it gives me body heat. Okay, I'm just gonna take all of you, and then I'll eat you as I need you. It's kind of weird that these things are just kind of like floating in the air, but all right. What's that? Pathfinder. I don't know if I already... I think I already have that. Yeah. Oh. Marbled anemone. Can I take you? Dang it. <laughs> I want more decorational plants. Ah, uh, sure. I'm just gonna dump you as soon as I need to pick up something. Oh, okay. This place is, uh, this place is big. Where, where are these things? What? Frosted sinew tree. Oh, okay. Can I, <laughs> I just keep trying to slash. I'm like, please give me what I want. Give me the seeds so I can plant them at some point. Okay. Oh, oops. Uh, I was just gonna take that. Yeah, thank you. Got some, uh, texturing difficulties with your, uh, <laughs> your effects here. <laughs> okay, so, disinfected water. Oh. Jeez, oh, alright. Bye, robotics. This is where Sam worked. Oh, this is where Sam worked? Okay, now I'm really invested. Snow Fox hover pad fragment. Excuse me? What do you mean? New blueprint uh, synthesized. Oh, they're like, they're like little snow speeder things. How do I make that? That would be so cool. Uh... That's it? That's it for the... Pff, bruh. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna make one of those. Um, I just don't know what it takes to actually make the thing, and I won't. Is this what? Recycle items into their constitute... That would have helped me earlier. I accidentally made a another laser cutter when I already had one, and then I just threw it away. But I didn't realize uh, you could get one of these recycler things. Okay, so my sister used to work here, apparently. Oh, there's like a whole room here. Hello. Sam loved working here with her spy pinglings. Do all humans like work? The lucky ones do. 
Oh, yeah. I used to think I was. Ooh. One out of three? At least I'm not like on a t like I'm not underwater, so I can kind of take my time exploring. Oh, they still have. Uh, your stuff is uh growing upside down. Okay. Oh. <gasps> water, water, water. Not gonna lie, I thought that was like a little fish statue, <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, this is a cool designed bed. I love it. Probably not gonna use it, but. <gasps> a trickbox is nerd out. Okay, we'll see if that one's just jamming. Wait, that one. Okay, that one doesn't have a voice clip. Uh oh, cold suit fragment. Okay. Furline. New blueprint synthesized. Okay. It's supposed to help with the cold, obviously, obviously. Water purification tablet. Water purification tablets can create drinkable water as you explore the snowy surface. That's why we can gather the snow, okay. New technology acquired. Wait, I can make a spy pangolin now? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. There's so much going on. Wait, what do you mean I can make my own hole? Spy pang- Oh! It's so cute! Okay. Where am I right now? I must be here? I must have, well, that's the bridge. Am I here? I think I'm here. Maybe? I don't actually know. I'm running out of inventory space. I'm gonna start eating some of these. This must have been oh. Sam's room. But something's not right. Hey sis, I scanned your bed. Okay. Hi you. How's everything at Pengling Central? Oh, fine. But I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what, a week? Did she promise you a report? No, but I expected some kind of reaction. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. It is Kara, after all, and it could cause a lot of suffering if it got out. Why would it get out? We have professional containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. Sam, I love you, but... You don't know what you're talking about. You love me? Wait, why do you know so much about this? It's my area of research. Why are you being evasive? <sighs> oh, I'm gonna tell you something, and then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career. We're researching the bacteria. What kind of research are you doing? I don't want you worrying about this. Uh, we are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. That's as much as I can tell you. <sighs> Sam. I, I need to think. I have to go. Hmm. Something tells me someone did a little something to somebody to silence them from something. Okay, I got it. Got a cylinder flask? Okay. Oh, yes. Thank you. I was wondering when I was going to find one of these. I can apparently take flasks, but I can't take, like, anything else that's kind of like this. How was if I just... I also want to keep one so I can keep it later to plant. Administration. Uh... This place has seen better days. Ooh, a picture frame. Okay, cool. So if, anytime I take a screenshot, I can actually put them in the game. Okay. Oh, a thermos. I already have a thermos. I don't. I don't need another one. It's forever gonna be in my coffee machine. Hey guys, I'm so glad you're here. Where else would I be? Like I'd miss Fred being exposed as the alien intruder. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. But you didn't say you were not the intruder. No, not this argument again. I beg you. I think the game will settle this debate. <sighs> this 
So, I just want to ask you something quick before Zeta gets back and we start playing. It's about the cavern with the frozen Leviathan. I investigated and you I... investigated? When? I didn't see you. Maybe you were asleep or busy doodling inappropriate sea creatures. Those drawings are art. Anyway, I've looked into it, and I think we have reason to be concerned. It wasn't that long ago this planet was uninhabitable. But if we work together, we can get them to put an end to the Corral mutation experiments. <sighs> I, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. Samantha, you're paranoid. Come on now, you're Sam out. She has her safety at heart. And the rest of us don't? Zeta! <sighs> can we play the game now? Fine. Hmm. Wait, do I have... No, the ion cube, I took it home. Oh wait, this doesn't have a receiver pad anyway. Okay, I feel less bad now. Now the thing is, where does this go? Imagine if this took us all the way back to like the Subnautica 1 area with like the laser. That'd be crazy. I don't think they'd do that, but... Okay, so they found an architect portal. Oh, this probably leads to the frozen leviathan area, if I had to guess, that they've been talking about. My inventory keeps getting full. Alright, I'm pretty sure that's all there is here. We made a lot of progress, although, wait, there's, I haven't found any more of the, um, oh yeah, I haven't been over here. I haven't found any more of, like, the little, little snow hovercraft parts. I've only found, like, one. Is there, is there not more here? I would like to have more, please. Thank you. I would love to have more. Probably, there's probably not any more here, though. But we did get a large room fragment, so we can build a large room. So the next time I record this, I'm probably definitely going to be starting off from a new base. Spooked me a little bit, not gonna lie. Oh. Stop. Oh, wait, I already. Tri valve? I can't really. Oh, this would be something I put my uh, pingling thing in. Wiring crit silicone. Rubber. Well, those are things I do not have with. Oh my god! <laughs> Just drop all the titanium. God. Oh, cross face plant. Doesn't look like I can harvest you. F. <laughs> Wait. Never mind. Okay. Iodine content useful for chemical applications. Noted. Random. Maybe I drop more titanium. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Uh, what's hailing? Wonderful. Why is it hailing in the cave? Like what? <laughs> is that it? Okay. No, it's still hailing. Okay. Uh, are you gonna make up your mind? Are you hailing or not? I'm just gonna try and make it back to my sea truck. Actually, we're gonna go this way. I'm gonna save before I forget. Yeah, see, there's this bridge. Oh, can I actually extend the bridge? Hold up. There is something of significance beyond this bridge. 
It was important to Otera, but more important to me. Will it help us build your body? I believe so, yes. Ah, uh, okay. What do I need for the hydraulic fluid? Gel sack four. Oh man, I don't have that. I can scan. No, come back. Oh, you bitch. Okay. Okay. So that all will definitely be for another time. All right. Yeah. Let's just get back into the sea trip. We got all, quite a bit done. This episode. I am perfectly fine leaving off there. Oh yeah, we were gonna go explore beneath our base. So yeah, we're gonna head back and do that. Home sweet home. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Nah, nah, you were last episode. What's, uh... I mean, I'll let it play out, but it's not, uh, it's not tickling my fancy right now. I'm gonna have to save that. So I can plant it later. And there's so many more posters. Ah. Ring out of storage. Okay, it's, it's okay. It's, it's, it's getting there. I don't mind it much now. <laughs> Yeah, didn't I get a... Oh, yeah! What are you? We also keep various creatures as pets. Really? How does a species that uses the genes and bodies of other creatures view pets? They are curiosities that bring some sense of presence and energy. They are also test subjects to be evaluated for potential genetic enhancements. That's not a pet. That's a data point. Like you said, it's literally a test subject. You do not think they can be pets? There's a distinction. Pets are something that you care for simply for the pleasure of doing so. Would humans consider me to be your pet? No, I said pleasure, Alan. This is more like a job. <laughs> Where I come from, you might be a pet. <sighs> I find that thoroughly disturbing. So, I don't know if you guys read along with me, but this thing apparently is essentially like the cuttlefish from the first one. Like, we can... It's basically a pet, so I'm just gonna keep him... Don't worry, he's, he's in a jar with water. He'll be fine, but I'm gonna take him over to the new base, because I'm not gonna leave, like, everything behind. I'll take... Well, I might honestly just build all new stuff, honestly, at the new base, but that might honestly take a while. I don't know, but... So the last thing we're gonna do this episode, okay, I did drop everything off, ah, except for the beacon, well, we'll drop that, is we're gonna go down underneath my base just to see what the hell is down there. So let's go. Actually, I haven't been down here um, except to gather materials, so I haven't been very deep in here at all. Oh, wait, I need gel sacks. I didn't realize gel sacks were here. See, I'm so glad I built my base where I did. Like, everything is in a decent, like, range. Like, there's just so much materials and stuff around to be had. Okay, these things are kind of freaking me out because they're kind of reminding me of like the, the tentacle things that grabbed at me, but obviously none of them were like wiggling and I think the tentacles that grabbed me were also a different color. So I think, I think we're okay here. Maybe that was just that one section. What is this? Module fragment. I already have that. Add to 
keep getting out for this, huh? More module. Nope. Okay. And what's over here? Pray tell, pray tell. I'm just gonna say that's a module fragment. <laughs> Nothing over here. Yet. Ah. I could stop running into the wall. This oxygen plant. Oh my. Is this just another way in? It kind of does, huh? Eee. A little claustrophobic down here, guys. Here's an actual case of something. That's to be good, right? Battery. Wait, storage module. I don't think I have this one. Ah. So maybe that's what that other one was, and I didn't know because I didn't check it. Quite a bit of diamonds down here, too. Fabricator. Okay. I'm pretty sure I have the fabricator. Yeah, okay. Just, just, just double check it. Like, it's hard for me to really discern the differences if it's not an aquarium piece, honestly. Oh, okay. Hey, bitch. Yeet. Oh, I can't hit you. Okay, well, fine. See you later. <laughs> oh, here's another storage one. Cool. Okay, well, I'm glad I came down here. Like, it's pretty and creepy. Oh, that's the one I saw. Like, it's pretty creepy down here. Just because it's like really dark, the colors, like, I like the colors, but, I don't know, something about this place, like, it doesn't go any deeper, it just kind of stops? What is this? Alan? Another site found. Perhaps its data will tell me something useful. Wasn't expecting to find this here. This artifact's function is poorly understood, but scans indicate it is generating a strong electromagnetic field. Some hypothesized by. It could be a communicate. I think it's a communication network node. Another ion cube. Thank you for the mini explosion. The thing of capable of a big explosion. Why is an ion cube just sitting there? Okay, well. I'm glad we found that. I Hello. Excuse you. My body is anything but inferior. I work hard for my body to be able to do what it does. Yes, but its overall form is not ideal. For example, consider its use of primitive ball and socket points. Is there anything you don't find primitive? Humans bartered with evolution to get more brain wrinkles and opposable thumbs. It is true, the opposable form is excellent, but all corporeal forms are temporary. The ability to be reborn when a body breaks down is paramount. My body is my own and I cherish it. It grows with me. Humans have one life. We plant trees we can never experience the shade of. We build for the next generation. Noble, but again, truly inefficient. You are incredibly frustrating, you know that? I hope to see the forms of my people again. You know, I feel like this architect race doesn't... Considering they didn't know what music was, I feel like they don't really... have... like they obviously know what emotions are, but I feel like they don't... have emotion because like obviously when I got angry whenever he transferred himself in me he's like okay we'll give you some time to like process you know but he doesn't seem like he has any emotion kind of thing so I think that's kind of what's going on here okay I'm really glad I did explore down there was not expecting to find that and maybe there was something I missed more than likely there was uh, we're just gonna go ahead and store all this stuff and I'll get this all Welcome aboard, Captain. Situated. 
Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this episode of Subnautica. I hope you enjoyed. We got a lot done this episode. A lot of productive stuff was done, honestly. Um, by the next episode, I'm hoping to have like another base built. Uh, we'll see how it goes, to be honest. I'm kind of excited about it, but um, we'll see. Um, if you guys enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, or do whatever. And I will see you guys next time.